hollandaise sauce then I better get fucking crack Ooh, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Okay, so, eh. we take a mason jar. This is how I make hollandaise sauce. We find my thingamajigger. Oh, thingamajigger hurt. Immersion stick blender. And then we actually need it pretty hot because it has to cook the egg. All right, um, one egg or two egg? Uh, probably one egg? That's a whole stick of butter, right? One egg, two egg, one egg, two egg. Can it hurt to have two eggs? No? Okay, two eggs. Two eggs, and then we need, God, I'm so short! I can't freaking reach anything in my own damn kitchen. God, why did they make shells so high? Okay, so we put the whites in here, we put the eggs yolks in there, and then we're gonna blend that shit. All right, last minute because chat told me to do it. All right, separate the egg. It also doesn't help that I've been drinking. I kill this entire bottle of wine by myself. It is okay to judge me. Okay, um, how far am I in this bottle? Ah, not even half. She's fine. Okay, one and two. Look at that skill. Not really. My toddler could probably do this. Okay, two, two herd. All right. This is basically like a last minute freaky weird take on a hollandaise. I need more space. Okay. Save. Okay. Okay. You come here. Ah, it's supposed to be like lemon juice and other shit, but oh well. Okay. Ready, set, go. No, I didn't start this. Vampires is not vampire friendly. Okay, we're good. Tomato paste, really? I didn't know that. So long as it tastes good, that's really what matters. They can watch food. Yeah, if you want to see fancy shit, go to Food Network. Don't go over 160. I think it's under 160. Maple syrup? What? No. One yolk is all right. We did too. I like yolks. Okay. Superpower. Boop! Turbo! bigger. Okay, so unlike hollandaise sauce, I think because it doesn't have enough butter in it, it actually didn't. Oh, no complaints. No complaints. Sauce tastes delicious. That's really all that matters, right? The sauce tastes delicious. Ooh, don't get sassy with me. All right. How do we want to, oh, I think we should put it in a soy sauce dish. So it's like a dipping thing on the side. Or, okay, actually, no. Do we pour this fucking delicious thing we just created as a team? Do we pour it over it and then put cracked black pepper on top? Or do we do we have a dipping sauce on it? I kind of want to do like all up in its business. Like just fucking slather it in this shit. <gasps> you sexy ass beast, you. Good God, you're gorgeous. I don't think I can replate it on, well, okay, I'm gonna replate it on another dish for um, beauty reasons, aesthetics, if you will. But, I have no other plate this will fit on. Uh, you know, I really like her cooking show. Nadia, I love Nadia. Some attitude to your dressing well. Yes, I, Nadia from the Great British Baking Show. I freaking love her, yeah. I like the Pioneer. Yeah, she's pretty good. The Pioneer Woman. I like uh, Cut Throat Kitchen, Iron Chef America, Good Eats. I'm terrible. Don't judge me. Or judge me. I don't care. Uh, they watch Mrs. Hampton's uh, Eating in a Garden come up with recipes that include no one has ever heard of. Uh, watch them or hold a dinner party for her social life friends. Fuck that shit is what JK says. I don't know what any of that means, but okay. Never seen her. Nadia's from the Great British. I'll look up. Look up Bitch in Kitchen. Oh, maybe Nadia G is someone else. Okay. So, we're going to move this. 
to this plate. <gasps> I just fucked that shit up. Okay. We're going Kathy style today. Because this is supposed to be a Lestat, a steak Lestat. So it's like a take on a uh, steak Diane. And in that one, they put a fucking shit ton of some sauce over the top. So we're going to do the same thing. And then I think some freshly cracked black pepper. Ours is obviously a little different. Oh, I should have taken a picture of the beautiful sear that was on it before I fucked that shit up. And also, because I am who I am, a little bit of chili flakes. Also, it's got a little red, so it's a very vampiric in color. That's pretty good. I do wish the sauce was a little thicker. Should have added more. I added two egg yolks, but whatever. Um, and then we're gonna about to inhale this shit. But first, take a picture. I'm calling this a Lestat steak. Okay, this is kind of silly, but one of the things I really like about what we do on stream is I'm okay with this only ever happening once in a lifetime. Like whatever fucking crazy shit we make, I don't really care about recipes. I really don't care about like um, saving this for the future. I'm just enjoying this moment. If this steak is the best steak I've ever had in my life and I never have it again, I'm okay with that. But I really enjoy like making shit on the fly with you guys and just enjoying the moment. This is like one of my favorite things about streaming is it doesn't have to be, I mean, I take a picture so I can try to remember, oh, remember that time we did that thing? But I, I'm totally okay with if every day of my life, for the rest of my life, I never ate the same thing twice. I'm okay with that. Maybe not other people, that people are always like, oh, do you have a recipe? Nope. Because we just came up with it on the fly and chat pretty much, uh, controlled most of it. All right. Steak knife. Steak knife bird. Okay. Here we go. Let's cut it down the Oh, that's a bone. Cut it down the middle. Please, oh, steak gods, let this be a nice, rare steak. All right. Depending on how you define things, this, in my mind, is a... Restaurants would call this a rare. It's not blue. I like blue steak, so it's cooked a little bit more than I would like. Retro. You have to watch the whole stream to get the recipe. You have to watch the whole stream and take notes. Kathy, you gonna finish that? Nah, probably not, but I will try. All right. That in any restaurant is considered a rare steak because it's very fucking pain. In Kathy world, that is medium rare. I like my steak blue, so it's cold in the middle. So this is a, I would say, I would argue this is a perfectly rare steak, which is still a very good steak. I'm still down for rare. When I go to restaurants, I always order blue and it comes out rare. So this is usually how I eat my steak. When Malin makes it for me and I ask for Kathy style, it's usually fucking raw on the inside. But we really wanted that, um, we really wanted that, uh, good crisp sear on the outside. Look. Mm. That there is a fucking fine steak. I don't even know what the hell is in the sauce we made, but I can just drink the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Holy shit balls. I might actually finish a steak. I mean, I still have a duck to eat, but I might finish a steak. Hi, Lone Survivor. How are you? Mmm. Mmm. The sauce? shit 
in the duck injection pot. Added a little bit of heavy whipping cream, I think. And an egg yolk or two. I don't know. I don't even know what is in the sauce. No idea. Anyone who wants to know what's in the sauce, you have to go back and watch the vlog. But holy fuck is good. Butter, cream, meat juice. So good. Mmm, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. I just have the best kitchen gadget for you. It's called a uh, certification. Yeah. Makes caviar like balls that you can fill with anything. You can use it for cocktails. Yeah. Evil Marksman. I was looking at one of those. My friend told me not to get one because he said I have too many gadgets already. Mmm. Mmm. I admit, my steak is not for everyone. I like my steaks really rare. Malin likes his medium rare. Definitely not for everyone. I like my cows still moving. Mmm. Mmm. Retro is medium rare. Yeah. It's so raw, it's eating the salad. Right? It is. So, um, I will say most people do not like their steaks as rare as I do. I am a weirdo. But that's okay. To each their own. Oh my, the sauce is the best part. Um... Lana, you want to bite? Yeah, let's play the game. Ready? One, two, three, catch! Oh, failed, dog. Okay, we'll give her one more shot. Okay. Go. Back. Ready? Sit. Come here. Sit. Ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, it's over your head. I'm sorry. We're working on our technique. Definitely not for everyone, but man, is this mama happy. Oh, just good stick. Um, yeah, there we go. Evil Marksman. That's so handy. Wine, steak juices, garlic, ghee, cream, salt, two eggs. That is what's in this. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. It tastes like a really savory, hearty version of a cream sauce. Like if a cream sauce had a baby with a steak, that's what this tastes like. Mm. Mm. Hi, G. Gomez. Doggo on is so happy. Lana hears her review and says, hmm, let's see if I agree. Lana likes anything. Lana is not a picky dog. That is our doggo. Thank you for that, Frank. Lana got some. Okay, one more bite and then we're going to do the duck. What are we gonna season the duck at all? We're just gonna eat the duck. What are we gonna do with the duck? We can put this on the duck sauce too. Mmm. Yeah, stream's getting inappropriate. I'm just moaning now. Alright. One for me, one for Lana. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go! Oh, fail. Okay, two for Alana. Okay. Try again. Go back. Ready? Teamwork. One, two, three. Oh, she got one! Nice job, Plover. She caught one in midair. Okay, this is a bite for Mommy. Did I hear a toddler? I don't think so. Okay, one more bite for Mommy, and then we're going to move on to the duck. Oh, it's a big bite. Ah, um. Malin missed out. No vampire can eat it because we put so much garlic in it. Thank you, JK. She is pretty adorable. She's turning nine in like two weeks. 
Oh, you can make a Kathy, uh, Kathy Archer one top six. Evil Marksman. I like what you're saying. How about this? We will uh, set a goal for stream. If we hit that goal, I will get a spherification machine and we'll get crazy with it. Um, how big are they? Let's Amazon this real fast. So, Green Bang 69, thank you so much. Welcome back into chat. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for the signal boost. Um, let's real fast go to Amazon and figure out how much it costs and if it's realistic to get one. Spherification kit. Oh, it knew what I was saying drunkenly. That's nice. How much are you? Um, you're small. That's good. No, you can't be that cheap. Uh, we'll go with a uh, five star and up and primable. Okay. Re Amazon's best choice. No shit. 20 bucks and can fit in a drawer. Really? Really? I thought this shit was expensive. Okay, so this one is like 70 bucks. Okay. This one real, this one modern cuisinist or modern, mon, modernist cuisine is 40 bucks, has really good reviews. We'll add that to the AFK wish list. Which is private. You guys don't get to see my wish list because I don't want you guys buying me shit. If I really want it, I'll buy it myself. You guys can save your money and donate it for the kids. Uh, AFK Kitchen. All right. So I have it on my wish list. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Uh, Evil Marksman, I like the way you think. Make your own bubble tea with it. I can make Kathy-friendly bubble tea. Oh! <gasps> Well, that just bumped it higher up the list. Okay, here's my idea. Um, maybe we do that for end of the year shenanigans. So I have two more months of streaming. And let's say if I make it the next, uh, what is it? 53? Holy shit, is it only 53 more days? Computer. How many more days until the end of the year? There are 62 days until My bad. 62. So there are 62 more days in the calendar year. I have streamed every single day since January 1st. Let's say if, oh yeah, because there's 30 days in a month and there's two more months left. Okay. If I make it to the end of the year and I stream every day, uh, the AFK Kitchen will get a spherification do that and we will start making all sorts of crazy shit. I like the idea. That'll be one of our treats that we treat ourselves to when we make it to the end of the year. That sounds a great idea. Oh, I gotta go make some, or I gotta go eat the um, duck that we made. Okay. Uh, does anyone watch people making wood tables from Crazy Slobs Wood? Yes, we do, Retro. Enjoy having, oh, have some epoxy in the middle of them, some don't. I love those videos. Retro, yeah. So not only does Malin watch those videos and he's shown them to me, he has a friend, one friend who bought a table, like he has a big ass dining room table that is exactly what you just said. And then he has, a, he has another friend who I think made one. Yeah. Orf is the one who bought one. And then what's his name that starts with a B who lives way out in the boonies? He actually made his own epoxy, crazy slab of wood filled resin shit table. Yeah, it's awesome. JK has never had duck. Well, I will tell you, duck is like a really, really gluttonous version of chicken. So it's fattier, slightly different color. Um, it's just like a gluttonous version of chicken. What am I looking for? This thing. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Also, wine. Good. All right. How is it? Uh, good. It looks good. I don't know, guys. I feel like I wanted it more brown. God, should we? It's looking more brown on camera. Should I broil it? I think I should broil it for like. I feel like I should broil it for one minute, or am I gonna? Then I run the risk of overcooking the duck. Yeah. Jelly Belly, I'm going to 
delete that comment. Oh, sorry, I deleted the wrong one. Oh, I guess I can delete two of yours. I'm gonna delete that comment. Please do not, please do not put inappropriate stuff in chat unless you make it funny. If you just say an inappropriate word like penis or nipple, it's not funny. If you're funny, I'll allow it. If it's not funny, I'll delete it. If you're inappropriate, I'll ban you or time you out. Uh, I see your dog will help her today. Yeah, Green Fang, she's very helpful today. Uh, Rachel, we do watch those. You can still do spherification in the cold oil method. That sounds like a lot of work. Only rare, oh, the car's only oil agar and squeeze bottle more or less oh levate or levitate them so i've seen that as noodles computer is agar agar keto friendly okay here's keto police i'm not sure about agar agar friendly fuck off okay i've seen people do that method with the squeeze bottle and the agar agar and the oil and they um they made noodles that way i don't know if i can eat the noodles because i don't know if agar agar is caffeine friendly, let's check if it's friendly for my diet. I have to be a lot more uh, careful. I went a little nuts on stream two, three days in a row. And I, um, I definitely suffered from it. Okay, so agar agar uh, carbs. Let's see. Okay. Two tablespoons is less than one gram. Depending on how much agar agar it takes to make a noodle, I might be able to eat it. I think, oh, I could just look agar agar. Oh, I already knew what I was going to say. Uh, oh, it's so, yeah, okay. So it's moderation. So it's in moderation. I can do some agar agar. I like that idea. So even if I don't do full noodles, I might be able to mix like zoodles with these agar agar noodles. That's a good idea. You might be able to do that. Oh, you should check out chia seeds, BT dubs. Yeah, so I, oh, this is annoying. I actually had a giant mason jar full of chia seeds and I was like, I'm never going to use these. So I don't remember what I did. I think I threw them away, which was a really bad idea. And cause I was trying to declutter my pantry I threw away like 16 ounces of chia seeds and then I found out I actually should have been eating them the whole time because they are really high in fiber, which apparently I need. So whoopsies, my bad. And yeah, okay, so Evil Marksman thinks they need more crisping up. Torch it? Torch it? I've been drinking. You guys really want me to have a torch while it's drinking? It's a good idea. All right, I should be consuming in moderation in keto because that's a fair amount of carbs. Thank you, Retro. I appreciate you. I will, if I do agar agar, I will do it very sparingly. I do have chia seeds. I should use more of them. Uh, I just found that you can get edible glow in the powder uh, so you can make glow in the dark cocktail boba. Oh my God, that sounds terrible. Evil Marksman just got one kilo of them. That's ridiculous. They're worth a small portion. I don't doubt that. All right, let's see if I have a glow torch. Blow torch, blow torch. I have one. It's just a matter of whether or not I can pull it out. There you are. Okay, so with my torch, I think it actually starts to die after a while. How do you turn it on? Crap. Oh, push. We can't do it. The butane is out. So the only kind of shitty thing about this uh, butane torch is I only use it once in a blue moon and by the, I fill it up and then by the time I come back to use it, all the butane has leaked out of it. So open, open, I take that back. You just had some. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, I lied. Almost got fired. All right, let's do this shit. You could finally we'll duck the brain in something. Oh, no, I'm just going to butane the shit out of this right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, you was a sexy little thing, right? Oh, crispy, crispy, crispy. <laughs> no one ever lets me play with fire in this 
house. Ooh, how you doing? How you doing? That's, let's move this out of the way. Oh, crispy, crispy, crispy. Crispy, crispy, crispy. It's got such a high fat content, it's basically just frying itself. Ooh, crackling. Ooh, flaming. All right, this one? A little bit more on this one, too. Who let that woman have a torch? That's right. I'm an independent woman. I bought it for myself. Ooh, you nice. Oh, you so crispy. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Whose idea was it to give me a blowtorch? Thank you, whoever in chat said to get a blowtorch. This is fun. And you, like, between the two of us, you have to admit that I'm far more responsible with a blowtorch than my husband. He would start lighting my hair on fire if he was given the choice. Ooh, you crispy. Oh, you're so sexy. It's good to compliment your food while you cook it. Nice. Nice. Oh, I think you're good. Okay. Perfection. Turn it off so that it doesn't leak butane. We'll put it off to the side to cool. Any ideas on how to plate this? Shit, I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, I could put it on a bed of greens. I'm gonna go with a bed of green. I think we should put it on a bed of greens. I can't think of anything else. How do we do this? And what happens hour later is after eating the glow in the dark powder? I don't know. I'm gonna say glow in the dark poo. That would be hilarious. Yeah. Uh, okay, Evil Marksman. We had a long conversation about this earlier. I don't have any brandy. And I can't show you because it's gone now, but this is the bottle of brandy that I pulled from the liquor cabinet and no shit, there was like 10 drops left in it. Some asshole, won't mention any names in this household who drink alcohol, some asshole put this back on the shelf with no shit, like 10 drops of brandy left in it. There, that's all, that's all I had to work with today. And I was doing a take on a steak Diane, I called it a steak will stop. And it was supposed to have brandy in it, but someone put the bottle back on the shelf, though there was only 10 drops of brandy. So I can't flambe shit because I don't have any brandy because the person put an empty bottle back on the damn shelf. So in order, so to make a brandy, I substituted a little bit of uh, Cab's, uh, Cab Marinet Sauvignon and a splash of bourbon. It's not the same thing, but that's what we did. Uh, yeah, use a little pan to put some brandy. Yeah, if I fucking had brandy or some sort of high proof alcohol in it that sets fire and pour it over. Ooh. Bourbon? You want to go bourbon? That would have been a great idea. Yeah. Actually, so this one looks really sexy. So I think what we're going to do is drink this wine. We're going to do a big plate because I feel like it looks prettier when you plate it with big ass plates. Big ass plate. Heard. I tend to use my pasta dishes, um, but I think we want to make it look big. So we're going to do some greens because that's all the fucking shit I have. So we're going to put the duck on a bed of greens and we're going to put that shit over it. Okay, so here's the duck. Ooh, I have an idea. It might not be a good idea, but it's my idea. I'm going to do a little bed of greens. I'm going to put the sauce on the bed of greens and then I'll put the duck on top. It might be stupid, but I like that idea because if I'm going to eat the greens, also, I don't want two pictures that look the same because I put the uh, steak lestat, I put the dressing on top. So this time, we're going to put the dressing just a little bit on the greens. Plus, it's like salad dressing now, right? Then we'll put the pretty one on top. And then pepper, pepper herd. And then Suki salts, because we're going to vampire theme, and I forgot it on the last one. For our vampire themed night tonight, we are going to use black salt. It's called lava salt. It's from Iceland. 
but we're going vampires and I feel like vampires would appreciate my black salt. And then for funsies, we'll also sprinkle it around the plate. So people are like, what the fuck is that? Is that black salt? Yeah, it's black salt. One of my mods got it for me. I call them Suki salts because Mythical Suki got it for me. Okay, Suki salts over there. Phone, phone heard. Okay, move this shit out of the way. Ah, take a picture. I really gotta post this shit because it is gorgeous. <gasps> You're so beautiful. I love you, I love you. Oh, I can't believe I made you. I can't believe I made you. I say that shit to my kids all the time too because they are also beautiful. Okay, this is my, what do we call this? Queen of the Damned Duck. Going with the vampire thing. Queen of the Damned was also written by Anne Rice. As was the character, the vampire Lestat, which is what our steak was. And our third dish is Anne Rice. And chicken and rice and chicken because it's chicken and rice but it's Anne rice who's the author and chicken she wrote the vampire chronicles which has interview with the vampire and all that shit um knife knife heard oh look at uh, we got a new knife and a new fork because we're fancy um no no is my chat broken i can only see myself no evil marksman um it's just, uh, it tends to be slow on the weekends. We don't have a lot of chat on the weekends. Uh, I think the beginning, surprisingly, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are our like most busy times in chat. The weekends, Friday, Saturday are the slowest. And occasionally, uh, Sundays are hit or miss. Sundays are sometimes really busy, sometimes really slow. But I'm glad you're here. Salt or vampire, ooh. Vampire ashes is a great idea. Also, TGU, I like the idea of Anne Rice cakes. Maybe, oh, let's write that shit on the, let's write it on the calendar. Maybe for Anne Rice's birthday, we can do Anne Rice cakes, but today I had to do injected meat because it's channel point redemption. But Anne Rice's birthday, we can make Anne Rice cakes. So let's put Anne Rice on the calendar. Anne Rice cakes. Ooh, we could do like uh, mochi, we could do Korean. There's so many rice cakes we could do. I like that idea. That is fun. Her name is super good for uh, all sorts of different things. Okay, we're gonna cut into the greatness. If Malin was to come home soon, he would be very lucky. Okay. Um, checking the duck. Duck is cooked to perfection. Um. Mmm. Mmm. All right. That duck is fucking perfectly cooked, which is amazing because I've only cooked duck twice. Oh my God. So the real reason why we're doing this, the real reason why I think Shadow made this, um, for Iron Chef Kathy, secret ingredient slash technique, meat injection. I think it was to, to see if injecting meat, I'm sorry, injecting flavor using a meat injector into meat really changed the flavor. I honestly think it does. I really think it does. You can totally taste all the flavors. And I feel like I did not brine this duck and this duck is very juicy. So usually when I do poultry, like chicken or whatever, it's brined to get that juiciness. I did not have time. So if you're in a pinch and you to need to have like juicy fowl, injection. Um. Hi, Mindy. Mmm. Mmm. Anne Rice pudding? I need some Anne Rice pudding. Um. I'm actually trying to get Jace into rice pudding. One, because I make pretty decent rice pudding and it's very affordable. In the in the ways of pudding, I feel like rice pudding is one of my favorites. Mmm. You can do anything with rice. And rice bowl, like a dombody bowl. Mmm. 
Mm. Dry brines are totally a thing too. Yeah. Robert and I have a friendly. F no, you don't get duck too. You got steak, dog. She's over here begging for the duck. All right. Because I want you to be a well cultured dog, you can have some. You can have a little bit, not a lot of it. You can have a little bit of duck. Is Ubernoob still in chat? Probably not. But I'm wondering if he wants the other duck. Okay. Lana, I'm not getting up because I'm very comfortable right now. But one, two, three. Oh, nice catch. She's getting better. She's getting better. So Robert, my friend Robert and I kind of argue over how to brine um, poultry. Robert does only dry brines. I do only wet brines. So I think his idea, his way might be better than my way. Oh. And you're just going to brine it off. I get it. But with a wet brine, you don't even have to rinse it. You just lift it up, pat it dry, stick it on a chip. Yeah, I don't know. We had to make a shit ton of turkeys this year um, because we're cooking for 50 people. So I wonder, maybe we'll do half wet brines and half wet, uh, dry brines. Compare and contrast. All in all, we're making close to what? Computer, what's one and, oh, it's seven, cancel. So we have to make 75 pounds of turkey this year. 75 pounds of turkey, depending on how big of turkeys you get. If we got, realistically, 20 pound turkeys and we got four of them, that should do it. But if we're doing 40 pound turkeys, I'm sorry, 20 pound turkeys, four attempts, that's two wet brines and two dry brines. Mm. With beef, totally true. I would not do a wet brine with, with beef. But with turkeys and ducks and chickens, I do a wet brine. But I should embrace the other side. I actually never brine my beef. I've never brined, brined my beef before. Maybe I should. Wait, that's a thing? Is that aged beef? Is that how they age beef? Is that just a different term? Brining beef is aged beef? That would make a lot of sense. Dry aged beef is a dry brine. Huh. I never put the two together. I know there is dry aged beef. I never realized that dry aged implied brine. That makes more sense. Mmm. Okay. I think we're going to wrap up. This is really good. The interesting thing is, I want this to just be a salad dressing, but I will never go through that much work to make a salad dressing. But it's all made from like juices of meat crossed with egg yolks, crossed with heavy cream. That is so good. If you put this khaki dressing or whatever you want to call it on a salad, you would not even need any protein to go with the salad because it's all in the meat. Oh, on the dressing. Ah. Pigeon, AKA squab is pretty tasty BT dubs. I have a Cornish hen, which is bigger than a a uh, pigeon or a squab. Okay, I want to make squab. My only problem with squab is that it is super difficult to work with because of the small bones. I've heard of chefs who've never worked with squab before just absolutely get destroyed by it because they just didn't know how to process the meat. That would be me. I'm willing to try it though. I would definitely like to try it though. I'm amazed you put all that food away. What? I may only be five foot two but I have a hearty appetite. Also, I only eat about once a day um, because I have tummy issues. 
I tend to eat a snack in the afternoon, some like late afternoon, I'll have a snack. And then my main meal I eat is actually with you guys. I, I eat my, this is my legit dinner. This is what is the main meal I have every day. I eat with you guys. Um, and part of it is I have a uh, ulcerative colitis and I never know what is going to happen when I eat food. So it's better to eat late at night and then whatever fucking happens, I deal with it later on, like over, throughout the night or the next morning, like it's fine. But, um, it hasn't been too bad actually, since I've been doing my most recent diet, a lot of my symptoms have gone into remission. Surprisingly, a lot of my symptoms have gone into remission, but in general, I tend to eat really late at night. Oh. Shadow, what's up? I only had the rest of it. Ooh. Uh, honestly, chia seeds have a big difference to uh, have a big difference to my fiber intake. Computer, add chia seeds to my shopping list. Chia seeds and agree. Evil Marksman, you are absolutely correct. I I can't believe I threw them away. I had them in my pantry for years. I just never embraced them, and then now I need them more than ever. You're right. You're absolutely right, and I will um, make an effort. Uh, as long as they're Kathy friendly, I think they are because they're so high, high in fiber, in high in fiber, they should be Kathy friendly. So I think, um, you're absolutely right. I will definitely go and get some more shadow. So it went really well. We did not make it to the last dish, which I will be making tomorrow anyways, but we did really good. We made the, um, so what I lacked in making all three dishes in one stream, I think we compensated for the fucking level of quality. So the steak lestat was fucking superb. It was, um, ooh, I'll show you. There's still, there's a lot left. I mean, it looks destroyed now, but it was a motherfucking huge ribeye. We injected it with this delicious sauce and it was no shit. Top, top five steaks of my life. Right that there. I don't know if it was the steak itself, the meat injection, or the sauce on top, something or the combination of, I would put that in the top five steaks I've ever had. I didn't eat the whole thing because I knew we were doing the duck. So, um, yeah, and then I honestly, like chat said, the recipe will, like if you wanna know the recipe, anyone, you'll have to go back and watch the mod because I don't know, even Mark's been wrote down a concise version of it, but the sauce was so good and the sauce was made from the dr drippings the juices from the injected meat so we took that then we took the drippings then we made a sauce out of it and then we drizzled that on the steak and then we put that with the duck and honestly ah, ah, oh, no. so good so good Mmm. 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 Yeah. I would say top top meals I've made on stream. I've made three hundred and what three? I made three hundred and three meals on stream, so I can't say where it ranks in three hundred and three, but off the top of my head, easily top twenty. I can't remember all my streams and I can't remember everything I've made, but I would say top 20, top 20 things I've made for sure. I'll send you some recipes you can pick from. Evil Marksman, let's go. I love it when y'all send me recipes. I really do. It takes the stress off me of having to pick something. I would much rather pick something that chat sent me than browse the internets and like trust random people's reviews. I'd much rather make something you guys pick out. What up, Davenport? How are you? We're wrapping up. We're just drinking and munching on tiny bits of stuff. Cuz. I need to get to bed at a decent time tonight. But what's surprising is this duck is cooked to perfection, in my opinion. No pinkness. No, it's like it's perfectly cooked, which is weird. I don't even feel like I cook chicken perfectly. But my duck is cooked perfectly. Oh no, I did not finish the steak. No. 
TGU says dried uh, prunes will clean your system. Dried Palms prunes? That's good. I can't have prunes. That's a, that's a shitty thing. Yeah. I wish I could have them, but I cannot. Um, more mouth gasms. This is why my friends and my husband don't like going to restaurants with me. They're embarrassed to be seen with me in public because I make orgasm noises while eating. You should see me have sushi. Ooh, that's inappropriate. Uh. Borderline start to a porno. If I was ever in a porno, it would definitely feature sushi sashimi somewhere in the middle of the porno. Like, it would start in a sushi restaurant. That's how my porno would start. Hands down. If I was directing my own porno. Mmm. Lone Survivor, that's a great idea. Well, if you ever want to make homemade salsa, let me know, and I will make you one. Yes. Where's my mouse? Oh, my mouse is all the way over there. Give me a sec. Okay. Exclamation point. Discord. All right. If you are not in our Discord, please join our Discord. We would love to have you there. We have a section for recipes. Feel free to throw down any recipes you want in our recipe section. One, it's good for the rest of the community because we all get to share fun ideas with each other. Also, I like to pick ideas from the, the recipe section, especially if it's one from your family or one that you love. Just put it in the preamble. Say like, this is my salsa that I love so much. And then I'll be like, fuck yeah, and I'll make it. Ah. Uh, okay, I tagged you in the website. I sent lots of stuff, and you can filter by diet, too. Ooh, overnights are on me. Yeah, evil marksman, yep. So my, my sister-in-law introduced me to overnight oats, and they are really great, especially for a busy mom on the go. Unfortunately, I cannot have oats in my Kathy diet, but I do like them. I have had them before, and it was a really great one. Hey, all that just means hella good. Let's go. Ghost just had the warmest shower of my life. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I have to say, every now and then when I'm taking a shower, this is a weird thing to think about in the shower, but while I'm taking a shower, there are many times where I think to myself, can you imagine being in like the medieval ages without indoor plumbing? Like how spoiled am I that I am taking this beautiful warm shower, I can adjust the heat with just a flick of my wrist and then just get drenched in beautiful warm waters. There are often times where I think to myself, Indoor plumbing might be one of the greatest inventions of like mankind. I fucking, I love, I love showers. I love hot showers. Sometimes I take really long ones. I try to keep them under 15 minutes, but it is one of the smallest things. But anytime we go camping, the first thing I want more than my, more than sleeping in my very comfortable bed, the number one thing I think of when we come home from camping is, oh my God, a shower. I fucking love showers. Small things in life mean so much. It's a good thing that the deck is scrumptious as well. So all and you need to, the main direction will become more part of your cooking style. Yes, shadow. I might need to be reminded on occasion because it just, it's not something I've really thought of before, but I, yeah, I think, and the, because of shadows, dancing shadows point redemption, I actually invested in a nice quality, uh, who did that? Hung egg, what's up, welcome in. Shout out to Hung egg. streamer throwing down in the um family donut shop which he has now taken over and is an awesome human being super fun to hang out with and yes yes has anime posters post up on the wall so instantly loved you as soon as i saw the evangelion poster in the background i was like hey i see that how are you and also he's wearing a like not until headband when we, when we raided him it was so much fun welcome in how are you welcome to the afk kitchen one sec before I introduce myself, I gotta catch up with chat. Shadow, yes, I need to be reminded to use the meat injector. Thankfully, because Shadow threw down with Iron Chef Kathy, with his, which is a channel point redemption, you get to pick a secret ingredient and I have to make three dishes based off your secret ingredient. 
doesn't all have to be done on the same day, though I usually try to do them all on the same day. I will be finishing up the last one tomorrow, which is for my mom. But Shadow convinced me to get a hardcore meat injector, way fucking fancier than the one I had before. And this thing is amazeballs. It injected so much flavor into the prime rib steak I went to town on earlier. Oh, it's a very good steak. It was like in the, in the flavor of a steak Diane, but rather than have the sauce on top, we injected the sauce into the steak and then also smothered it. So it's really, really flavorful. And then, yeah, we also did a, we called that a steakless stock because we're celebrating vampires today, National Vampire Day. And then this was a Queen of the Damned duck for uh, Queen of the Damned, which is also written by Anne Rice. And then tomorrow we're going to make Anne Rice and chicken. She's the author of the books, The Vampire Chronicles. And uh, we're making Anne Rice and chicken, which is a take on samgyetang, which is a chicken and rice dish that my mom is craving. So I'm making it for her tomorrow. Yes, everything's so good. Okay, so I tagged you. Thank you so much, you Mark I'm excited to go through it. Uh, welcome in, Hung. How are you? Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I'm on vacation right now, so no work. Oh, yeah, it's hard for us to catch each other um, because we stream at the same time. Hope you're having a wonderful vacation. Welcome to the AFK Kitchen. I don't know if we've met before. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name is Kathy. I stream every single day. I started streaming January 1st. And I plan to go 365 days straight, raising money for kids with cancer. So our current campaign is Extra Life. And every day I pick something funny to celebrate, and that's what we base our dinner off of. Today is National Vampire Day, so we did three or two dishes that are vampire-themed, and then we're going to make another one tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we there's a lot of ridiculous chat redemption. This was Iron Chef Kathy, Secret Technique meat injection so i had to do three dishes that i injected meat with which was pretty fun and yeah that's what we do we did do an evangelion theme two weeks ago because i think it was the anniversary of neon genesis evangelion and we did some sort of nerve inspired dish i can't remember what we made it was japanese asuka something and ray something yeah i don't remember i stream every day so Sometimes my recipes and my plans all blur together, but there's a bond. Uh, just till Monday. That's still good. But I, so a lot of people who work, from what I've heard, a lot of people who work in the restaurant and hospitality industry, who work in restaurants, bakeries, delis, whatever, they tend to not take a lot of time off. So the fact that you have some time off is pretty awesome. Dear God, that looks like a torture device, LT, right? So there is a reason why the needles screw off. Because that is, I, I thought it'd be funny to do like a zombie, like vampire nurse costume while holding the syringe. That was too much work though. But yeah, it is, it's terrifying. So I have to find, a, oh this, I have to find a place to store this because I can't put it in a drawer that my two year old can get to. I'll have to find a place to put this because Lena gets into the grill drawer a lot, which is where the previous one of these was. Actually, I could probably put it in a box and she won't be able to open it. Yeah, we'll, we'll find a way. I don't know where we're going to put this. In my mind, it goes in the grill drawer. If it doesn't go in the grill drawer, it goes in the hand. <gasps> Ooh, no, we'll put it in this drawer. We'll put it in the tools and serving drawer. It's a tool. We'll put it in the tool drawer. Break's over. Have a good night. Night and night, Davenport. Thank you so much for being here. All right. I'm heading to bed. Just finished our haunted house for this year's haunted house. So have a great night. Happy to see y'all, Kathy. Uh, keep up the amazing streams. Lone Survivor, thank you so much. That was very sweet of you to say. T there was a little bit of trolliness in the beginning of stream. Nothing nothing super bad, but um, I really like ending stream on a happy note with uh, all the love. So thank you for, for the love. That, that helps me have sweet dreams and happy vibes when I go to bed. So I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Will your mom join the stream for Anne Rice and Chicken? Uh, Levitate up. Absolutely not. Yeah. My mom is very, very private. Surprisingly, with the first date, so my mom comes into town uh, once a year, usually for two, oh, I'm sorry, three to four months. So she spends 
about a third of the year at my house, a third of the year in uh, California, and a third of the year in South Korea, because my mom's Korean. So she has a house in uh, Southern California, a house in Korea, and then she stays with me for a third of the year. Um, so while she's, like the first day she arrived here, she popped on stream for a hot 30 seconds, showed her whole face, it was amazing, uh, said hi to chat and then ran away. Uh, scared the shit out of her. She'll never do it again. She's she was I can't believe she did it for 30 seconds So she has been on stream She told me today she I asked her I was like do you want to come on stream and teach chat how to Microwave eggs my mom does not cook at all like hates the kitchen with the fiery passions of hell My mom hates the kitchen. However, she's very proud of her microwaved eggs so much to the point that she taught my 12 year old how to microwave eggs Cause he thought it was a gag on TikTok. He's like, can you really microwave eggs? I was like, I have no fucking idea. I have never done it. My mom overheard us and she's like, I can show you. And then she fucking proceeded to teach my 12 year old how to microwave eggs. Uh, but no, she does not cook. She does not like anything to do with the kitchen and she's terrified of the camera. So she will probably never come back on again, but I will bring it down to her. She's also the one that uh, shares the wine with me, which is really nice. All I say is they have peanut butter and jelly chia pudding. Yeah, Evil Marksman, and it's vegan too. So I have seen a uh, low sugar, healthy version of jelly where you take uh, mashed up blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, wherever the fuck you have, and then chia seeds that have been soaked for however long you soak chia seeds, and you just mash the two together. Boom, instant jelly. You can add a little bit of sugar or sweetener of your choice, be it honey, sugar alternatives or actual sugar, whatever, and it and sweeten it to the level that you like, but it is so much less sugar, so much less processed, and way healthier than uh, canned jelly. Um, canned jelly has a longer shelf life though. But yeah, I've seen this before, I'm very excited. Wow, that's Pog. I hate Eva, but I love it and know what I mean. Yeah, Neon Genesis Evangelion will never make sense. As a kid, I grew up watching it, so I love it. I still, to this day, if you ask me what it's about, I have no idea. I have ending. I have never fully comprehended the ending of Evangelion. But growing up as a kid, I was obsessed and still am obsessed with mechs. And Evangelion is all about big ass stompy robots. So I, lo I love Evangelion, but uh, yeah, it's crazy. Can we make omelet rice sometime? Uh, Jelly Belly, I have already made omu rice. If you're talking about omu rice Japanese style, I've made it twice on stream. I could make it again though. Yeah, I could make it again. I made it in honor of Mark from James and Mark. I think it was his birthday and his mom made him omu rice as a comfort food. And so on his birthday, I made him omu rice as well. And then I did another day, I did omu rice for someone else who requested it. But yeah, we can make it again. I love omu rice. I will probably do a Kathy friendly version of it for myself or I'll make it for my husband, but I can't eat rice on my um, dietary restrictions, but I, I have made omu rice uh, plenty of times and I'm down to make it again. We should fill it with thinned ketchup and pair it with nurse Halloween costume. Okay, I will wear a sexy nurse costume on stream if and only if my husband dresses up like an animaniac and says, hello nurse, then I'll fucking do it. From dusk till dawn, but from duck to prawn, I should be head of wordplay. Okay, TGU agreed. You are slightly um, edged out by true sensitivity, though. If you can beat true sensitivity in wordplay, then man, props to you. But so far, true sensitivity is reigning champion. Though I will give you a, a very close second place. From dusk till prawn. So wait. I'm gonna go from dust till prawn and I will make you honey walnut prawns. How about that? Because I wanna make honey walnut prawns. So I will do from dust till prawn, honey prawns. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm slightly tweaking it, but I will make you, who said that? Was that TGU? Uh, TGU, I will make you honey walnut prawns and I will call them from dust till prawn and we'll do a vampire thing for that as well. So is your mom kind of like Korean Amish person sort of? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah. 
What up, Somali? What the fuck are you doing up? Dude, it's midnight. Yeah, well, it is a Saturday. It is a Saturday. I can't send you to bed. Tis a Saturday. Welcome in, Somali. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, everything I made today was hella keto-friendly. I'm very proud of myself. I... Uh